Welcome. Thank you for joining us here today as we celebrate the mission to remember the fallen, honor those that serve and their families, and teach the next generation the value of freedom. We ask that to start the event, you all please join me in a moment of silence to remember the fallen, prisoners of war, those missing in action, and honor those who have served and are serving this great nation's armed services. Thank you all for joining us here today. This year across the country at more than 3,400 participating locations like this one, there are millions of Americans gathering safely as one nation to remember, honor, and teach. We are all proud to be Americans that live in a free society made up of many people from many walks of life. The freedoms we enjoy today have not come without a price. Lying here before us and in cemeteries throughout this nation are men and women who gave their lives so that we can live in freedom without fear. We can worship as we see fit. We can raise our children to believe as we do. We are free to vote for the leaders of our choosing and we have the right to succeed and we have the right to fail at whatever endeavor we wish to pursue. The United States of America was founded on the ideals of freedom, justice, and equality. Our nation stands as a shining beacon of liberty and freedom to the world. We thank those who gave their lives to keep us free, and we shall not forget you. We shall remember. Today, more than ever, reflect on our nation's veterans and active duty service members who have had, the, had and continue to fight to protect the innocent and the oppressed. This nation has always been the first to stand up for the freedom of people from around the world. Many of you are here today have answered the, that call and served your country well. For this, we say thank you, and we, honor, we are honored to know you. There are many men and women here serving today in all branches of the military, here at home and in places far away that most of us have never heard of. These men and women are part of the best trained, best equipped force in the world. We honor them and their families for the sacrifices that they make each day to keep our country safe from terrorism, hatred, and injustice. This year, we have added an additional ceremonial wreath to honor the men and women currently serving in the United States Space Force, along with those veterans who have served in roles helping secure our national interests in space. Quoting our 40th president, Ronald Reagan, freedom is never more than one generation from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same. Or one day we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in the United States where men were free. Today, we show a united front of gratitude and respect across the United States of America as we remember the fallen honor, fallen and honor those who serve their families. And we teach the next generation the value of freedom. At this time, I'm gonna turn the podium over to Major Lloyd for the laying of the ceremonial wreaths. Now, Cadet Staff Sergeant Tequila Caldwell will lay the veterans wreath in memory of those who served or are serving in the United States Army.
Now, Cadet First Lieutenant Sailor Hill will lay a veteran's wreath in memory of those who served and serving in the United States Marine Corps. Now, Cadet Staff Sergeant Alexander Carter will lay a wreath in memory of those who served and serving in the United States Navy. Now, Cadet Senior Airman Jesus Cordova will lay a veteran's wreath in memory of those who served and serving in the United States Air Force. Cadet Airman First Class Michael Grundy will lay a veteran's wreath in honor of those serving in the United States Space Force. Now, Cadet Senior Airman Gabriel Akala will lay a veteran's wreath in memory of those who served and are serving the United States Coast Guard. Now, Cadet Staff Sergeant Kayla Cobalt will lay a veteran's wreath in memory of those who served and serving in the United States Merchant Marines. Now, Cadet Master Sergeant Talon Hudson will lay a veteran's wreath in honor of the 93,129 United States servicemen from all branches of the service whose last known status was either prisoner of war or missing in action. These individuals have never returned to their families and homes. We shall never forget you. Newly added this year is veteran Tommy Owen, who was killed in World War II. Also newly added this year is veteran James William Kelly, who was killed in the Korean War.
names of veterans killed in Vietnam. Rex Bradford Freeman. Alan Herder Miller. Donald Lee Bernard. Edward Glenn Baker. James Larkin Eatman. John Kirby Johnson. James Delton Moffitt. <laughs> Sammy Ray Smith. Laying the wreath for Larry Lloyd Riley will be his granddaughter, Megan Caldwell. Lawrence Stephen Robbins. Laying the wreath for Benjamin Forrest Bowding will be his sister, Carol Bowding. Skies. Sykes. My apologies.
Randall, Keith, Burnson. Steven, Randall, Costello. Steven, Scott, Donahue. Michael, Roy, Fine Tree. Laying the wreath for James Dale Guffrey, his sister, Gail Wallace. Randall Lee McAaron. Jerry. Allen Kaiser. Ooh. Kenneth. W. Skinner, the third. Ronald Clyde Hyde. Jimmy Doyle Sanders. Ablin Lee Kendo. The 
The following names are individuals killed in the Oklahoma City bombing. Laying the wreath for Paul Douglas Ice will be Miss Faith Jimenez. Kimberly Kimmy K. Clark. Kathy Lynn Davis Seidel. Sandra Gail Sandy Avery. The following name is a veteran killed in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Laying the wreath for Lance Michael Chase will be his father, Mike Chase, his son, Brett Chase, and his grandson, Lance Chase. We encourage every volunteer here today who places a wreath on a veteran's grave to say that veteran's name aloud and to take a moment to thank them for their service to our country. It is a small act that goes a long way toward keeping the memory of our veterans alive. Remember, we are not here today to decorate graves. We are here to remember not their deaths, but their lives. Each wreath is a gift of appreciation from a grateful nation. These loud but some fur wreaths symbolize our honor to those who have served and are serving in our armed forces of our great nation and to their families who endure sacrifices every day on our behalf. To our children, we want you to understand that the freedoms you enjoy today have not been free, have not been free, but have come with a cost that someday you may have to pay yourself. As a nation standing together, we can defeat terrorism, hatred, and injustice. Because of our veterans, we have the freedom to do just that.
That concludes our event today. The The History Center is open and will remain open until 2 o'clock today. Thank you for you all for coming out. God bless you. Happy holidays.